Three, two, one, we are recording. Hello and welcome to the Gonzo Experience. I am David Gonzo Mamano, and I am here today with two repeat guests. They were with me before together and they're with me uh, uh, together again. Um, and I have very few repeat guests. So you guys, I want you to know you, you should be honored and I'm sure you are. <laughs> but I, wanna, I wanna introduce Kelly Hatfield and John Mitchell. Uh, both of you, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited to be here. I'm very excited to have you back for an update. Um, what I want to do is tease everybody about what we're going to talk about. And then I want you guys to do a little bit more deeper intro into why you're so interesting. And, uh, and I'm saying you're interesting. I know you guys are modest. You might not admit it, but you're very interesting. Got great stories. But what we're going to talk about today that is, is, is the, 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 I guess, the value and the takeaways that you're going to get from this episode is, you know, creating a, a vision for your life as far as where you want to be. And, and not only just in general, but we're going to get specific, like how to create, you know, for your career, for your personal health, for your spirituality, for your relationships, whatever categories are important to you. Kelly and John have mastered a, a, a system here, a process here that allows you in about 12 minutes a day to make your visualization of where you want to be uh, come true. It's a science. Um, it can happen and it does happen every day. And John and Kelly are going to teach us how to do that. So really excited for this episode. We, we talked about this, uh, uh, I want to say it's about two years ago now when you, when you first launched the program. There's a lot of new changes, a lot of new cutting edge upgrades which we're going to talk about. Um, and so we're excited, but John and Kelly and Kelly, I'll, you know, since I'm a gentleman, we'll, we'll do the ladies first. Kelly, who, who are you and, uh, and, and, and how did you get into Think It Via? All right. Well, um, I am an entrepreneur at heart. So, um, you know, I've got uh, three companies out of uh, just outside of Seattle uh, that are geared at recruiting um, and it's staffing. And then I've got a leadership brand um, that's called Absolute Advantage Leadership that um, I have a podcast, which is actually where I met John. He was guest number 121, just <laughs> which by the way, is his nickname now. Yeah. So he was- <laughs> 121, Jason. Agent, Agent 121. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And, um, and that's where John and I met. So through this podcast, you know, I'm meeting with um, leaders at the top of their game, entrepreneurs who are just killing it. John came on the show and introduced me to Think It Be It and this 12 minute a day methodology. And, you know, as I was listening to him, you know, he was talking about science, you know, and applying science. And I thought, I've never done that before. And I'm a personal growth, like I love learning, you know, so uh I thought science, applying science and for, to up your success, what's that all about? And then I heard his story and kind of what he'd done by building his um, brand that he had, which was the reverse mortgage company to well over, netting well over $5 million a year, you know, just uh, amazing success, met the love of his life. And I thought, oh, this is something I'm, you know, I, I'm interested in. But at the same time, I was skeptical too, right? Because I'm like this, you know, we us entrepreneurs, the next shiny object. And, um, you know, and I'm like, this sounds a little too good to be true, but let me test this out. So John and I on air, you know, I said, hey, how about I try this out? And then I'll come back to my listeners and share what my outcome has been. And um, we did exactly that. And, and the methodology was life-changing for me. Um, so I was able to double my income uh, to, it, within the first 12 months and each one of my brands to break through to the next level. I mean, it was an absolute game changer. And so with that being said, um, I joined John as his partner in Think It Be It, and that's how I came to get involved. So I'm, I'm one of our success case, story, you know, case, success case studies. Uh, awesome, and, and, and thanks for sharing that. And, and you're, as you're talking about how you met number 121, uh, <laughs> we met through podcasting as well, and yeah. right? We I, did. So uh, I'll, I'll call out Stephen Westner from Onward yes. Nation Podcast and Predictive ROI. He has a company that trains people on how to start and run a podcast. Um, and that's where we, we both cut our, cut our teeth in podcasting, right? And I was on your podcast and you were on mine. So actually, Kelly, you were on mine alone, separately, and then with John, and now mm -hmm. again. So you're actually the, the 
first three peat on my podcast. Ooh, ooh. Wow, <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, but so that's uh, so a little plug for podcasting there too. Great way to meet yes. and build relationships for a long, long time. So, well, thank you. Absolutely. Me. So, John, tell us about you. Well, um, basically, my story is is I became a, uh, an entrepreneur at, at 30. Started out as a CPA, uh, but at 30 became an entrepreneur and was in like six or seven different businesses. But when I got to be 50, I just wasn't as successful as I thought I should be. And I always did pretty well. You know, I always made low six figures a year. So I wasn't like, uh, uh, you know, totally uh, not cutting it. But, but, you know, it basically gave me an average life. And when I turned 50, I'm like, man, I want the exceptional life. And I'm like, I'm going to have to start netting seven figures a year. But how do you change that 20 year history? And so I'm puzzled by, you know, how do you change that? And, and you know, one, one night it comes to me, find the top book of the world on success and, and just take that book and apply it literally word for word in my life. So I do a little research, find out that uh, Think and Grow Rich has sold 100 million copies and the next best selling book on success has sold less than 10 million. So it's the top book in the world on success by a factor of 10. And I'm like, well, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I go buy the book and um, start reading it. And uh, I, it says there's a secret for success, but the author only gives you half of the secret and it's on the reader to figure out the other half. So of course I'm, I'm dejected and uh, I'm up around for probably a couple of weeks. And then one day I just woke up and I'm like, you know, just man up and figure out the full secret. And so I did, I immersed myself in the book for probably two months and sort of what emerged was this 12 minute a day technique, which is about applying science to your life, to up your success. And, and my income quickly started doubling uh, to, to where, you know, I was openly making $5 billion a year and it was, you know, I could see why it was happening. I was focused only on what moves the needle and I had tripled my discipline and I had new ideas coming to my head that, that just weren't coming in before, you know, practical business ideas. And so I was so blown away by the impact. Uh, I ended up finally having enough money so I didn't have to work. And I'm like, I want to share this with the world. And I met the former chancellor and president at the University of Texas. And he says, hey, you got to teach this at the University of Texas and let's teach it together. And then shortly, not too long after there, I met Kelly and Kelly has been such an amazing, great partner uh, in so many ways because she could help me take this idea and really change the world with it, which is what we're now doing finally. But I couldn't do it without her. I'll just say that without her. Wow. That's well, so sweet. Yeah, it's a, you know, I watched, I took the course right when it first came out, Think It Be It, and it was phenomenal. You guys do uh, many, 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 many videos together. And, uh, and it's a great, it's a great camaraderie. It's a, and it's a, I think it really stems for the fact that, you know, you're, you're, what overlaps in your circle is just really, truly um, loving to help people get these principles and learn the science to do it. Like you both are very successful on your own, making great money and you really don't have to do this, but it's more like, yeah, certainly you're in business, let's make some money doing it. But it, it's, uh, it, it seems like it's just more so about this combined mission of, of helping people. And as Steve Jobs would say, making a dent in the universe. But, but, you know, David, this is, this is what's, I think, interesting. And this is maybe what's changed since we last saw you. You know, we thought uh, back when we first met you, we we're like, well, everybody's going to want this. You know, everybody wants to be more successful. We've got a way to make you more successful with supplying science to your life. Here we go. Well, wrong. What we, what we realized, evolved to, is this is only for driven people. And most people, I, we would, Kelly and I talk about this a lot. Driven people is probably 2% of the population. And, and candidly, you know, most people look at more success 
as merely a preference. You know, yeah, sure, they'd like to have it, but they're not going to put any real effort into doing it. And that's what was, has sort of been shocking for, for us, but it's also been enlightening because we're like, okay, that's okay. Kelly's driven, I'm driven, you're driven. There's a lot of driven people. You just, but this is only for driven people that are really serious about going to the next level. Yeah, another thread that the three of us have in common, although I didn't take it with you guys, maybe you did, but uh, we all took Darren Hardy's uh, high performance forum. Yeah. Uh, HPF number three. Um, you guys remember what number you were in? God, I can't remember what number I was in. I feel like it was like 10 or something like that. But, okay. but um, you, you guys were not in the same class. No. You know, no, the funny thing is Kelly and I were in the same class, but we didn't meet each other then. That's, oh, right. Really? That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Isn't that amazing? That is crazy. Yeah. But, see, when I took it, we only, in the, it's, so Darren Hardy, for those of you that don't know, he um, is a high performance coach. And uh, uh, when we met him, he was the, uh, uh, the editor and publisher of Success Magazine which mm-hmm. when, that's when print was still viable and success was a, a top magazine for achievers. Um, and, and the reason I brought him up was, uh, oh, well, first of all, when I took the class, there was only 24 people in it. So we got to know everybody. It must've been more when you guys were there. But, mm-hmm. um, but you know, I bring up Darren because what you're talking about, you, you know, John, you said driven people. And you know, he always talked about, like he would market to achievers. So same thing, right? Like, and it's a, it's a very small percentage of the population. It's, it's that growth mindset on steroids. We're not happy with the status quo. Even you, even you guys, you were doing well by, yep. by all measures, doing very well on multiple levels, but you wanted more and, uh, and you got it, you continue to get it. And now you're, you continue to help people, mm-hmm. uh, but you have to be an achiever to want to do the work, be open to it and then doing the work as well, right? I remember, one of Darren's lessons where was uh, in this Darren Daly, don't be an ask hole. And I'm, I'm emphasizing the word ask uh, <laughs> because a lot of people ask for great things and success and, um, and they, they ask for the advice and they get it, but they don't do anything with it. Uh, so they, they have all these books and all this, these lessons and, and courses they have ordered and they, they don't move forward. And so Darren calls those people ask holes, <laughs> which I love. Uh, but you're the missing, you guys are the missing link, I think. You're the next link, I would say, in somebody who, who has all this information. You talk about thinking grow rich, which is, you know, the, the industry leader in, in all of this, uh, this book. But, um, but you know, there's a lot of great information out there to help people take the next step of their lives. Yet, very few percentage of people do that. And that's why I think it be it is what I think is the next link to, to enact all those lessons that we've learned and to bring it to the next level. So tell us about the program. Tell us where it was when I took it a couple of years ago. And, 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 and I know you said that you thought everybody would just want to do it, but what, you know, what, what, how has it evolved since then? Kelly, you want to take that one or you want me to? Um, well, I'll, how about I start and you fill in where in anywhere where I leave out. Okay. Okay. So as John mentioned, you know, we, we thought, oh my gosh, you know, cause this is like really a difference maker. And to the point that you just mentioned, Dave, um, this, so as I mentioned, lo- you know, love personal growth, love learning new things, you know, would learn this great new like marketing strategy or, you know, and this bridges the gap between that knowledge and putting that knowledge into action consistently enough to get the momentum and the compounding effect, um, basically. So, um, so we thought, oh my gosh, you know, this is the we, we made this course. Everybody's going to want this, you know. And um, and what we found, we we had a lot of people who because um, it, it was an online course at the time, and it was a do it yourself online course. So you purchase this course, and then you take yourself through the course. Well, to the point John made that there's very few people you know, that really are driven. So they like the idea, maybe ask holes, is that what you, <laughs> where they love the idea of it, but then really where, when the rubber meets the road, you know, it, they're simply interested in more success. They're not committed to more success. And so um, how our program has evolved is we don't just sell the course as a standalone. Um, we, work, we work exclusively with entrepreneurs 
Although there is a component of this that um, John is a mental coach for the University of Texas Athletic Department. And so it, this same um, principles are applied with the work he does there. But it would think it be it in the entrepreneur side of things. It's entrepreneur exclusive and it's the mentoring plus methodology. So we work um, with you. Um, it's an eight week program and we work with you um, through those eight weeks. And there are six pivotal parts of our program that we, we walk you step by step through. And by the end of that eight week time period, you've got kind of that new programming that you need to um, get your autopilot working for you rather than against you. Um, and so John, you wanna fill in any blanks that I left out? Yeah, that, that leads into sort of the, the, I think the logical thing to explain. You know, here's the reality. Everybody has a fundamental problem in life. They're, they're innately wired to survival. And what that means is that, that uh, 90 percent of your thoughts are fear-based, you're reactive rather than proactive, and 95 percent of your daily actions are unconscious. Now, you know, being wired for, for survival is, is, was great for our ancestors when they were running from, from lions, but boy, it's exactly the opposite of, what, of the way you need to be if you want to be productive, creative, and happy. And so uh, th that's the fundamental thing that, that we have both come to appreciate that when you open your eyes each morning, you're on autopilot most of the day with 95% of your actions being unconscious. Well, that's significant because you know, your success in life comes down to the cumulative effect of your daily actions, whether you're talking about your career, your marriage, your health, it's, it's all comes down to your daily actions. And, and so what this does is it influences those daily actions is by applying science to yourself, you're leveraging yourself. And, and that's why the end result is you, uh, you focus only on what moves the needle and you triple your discipline. And, and, and you know, that's powerful because we're taking uh, great strategies that, that we've learned from Darren Hardy, from Brian Tracy, from all sorts of people. You know, we all know sort of what to do uh, but doing them consistently has always been the challenge. And so when we take a client, our first thing is to mentor them and figure out how are we going to take this client's business so they're netting a million dollars a year. And we're only taking clients that we're convinced we can double their income within a year. So we're selective about who we take. But once we take them on, uh, then we, we mentor them and then apply this 12 minute a day methodology to leverage them so they can do the actions that are gonna be required to achieve that, that goal. So it's a sort of a perfect sort of fit of mentoring and methodology like Kelly said. And, and right. one other thing, if I could add, um, you know, what we found interesting and the other reason why we put the mentoring into the mix, Dave, was, um, one of the beginning kind of components of the program is our in-depth study and it's a, it's a questionnaire. And um, we just, the times that we live in now where we're all plugged in, we're so distracted, we're overwhelmed. Not, there's not a lot of people and entrepreneurs included who just sit and think about their life at a deep level. And so this questionnaire and the in-depth study was hard. They're like, well, God, I don't really know what moves the needle in my business. This is what I think does, you know, and, um, you know, what's my strategy for success? I have no idea, you know, so having the mentoring to walk through how to develop that, we, you just, people needed more help. And it, it doesn't, you know, initially we weren't just working with entrepreneurs and now we are, but it, we found that to be true across the board, that the clarity piece which is the very first step in our eight week um, process that we take you through is the most challenging part of the, um, of the uh, program um, because people just don't think about their life at that deeper level and about their business at that deeper level. You know, what's the linchpin issue? What do you, what's your three-year vision? And really on a, um, on a really crystal clear 
level? What's that three-year um, division or three-year vision? And um, so anyway, that was too why we, the mentoring was so important because as business owners too, like this is emotional. It's personal to us. Like we've put everything into us. And so you, because you're emotional about it, you can't see, you know, um, you get stuck in the weeds sometimes and it's really hard to see your business. So having that outside perspective um, too is also a game changer. Somebody who doesn't have any skin in the game, so to speak, other than obviously we want your success and we're there to double your income, but um, we don't, we're not emotionally attached to, um, you know, our, our client's business. And so we can just speak with uh, and tell it like it is and have an, and bring our expertise through the 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 um failures we've had you know in business or the things that haven't gone exactly right that have just gotten us better along the way to sharing all of the things that have made us a success too so anyway i just wanted to hide that highlight that a little bit too because that's such a challenge for people is getting that clarity that's really necessary so that you can then um, move in that direction yeah, I, mean, I think it's really it's it's business coaching, but but business coaching with a twist, you know, uh, because there's a lot of business coaches, and and you know, uh, I think we're we're blessed that we've actually netted seven figures a year. We've actually done what we're uh, teaching our clients to do, but but equally important is once we help them figure out how they're going to net seven figures a year, we're applying our experience in that, then they got to do the actions. And that's, that's the difference with us from other coaching programs. Basically the other coaching programs go, go do those things. <laughs> well, they can't do those things because they're not wiring their autopilot uh, to do them. And we wire their autopilot so that those things that they've got to do happen automatically without thinking. So it's all of that coaching and that business expertise paired with like NLP. So that neuro-linguistic programming and the um, visualization and all of that. So it actually, again, hardwires in so that you're actually taking action and doing the things you need to do to get your business to where you want it to go. So I personally know the, the, the process because you know, I've, I've done it, I'm doing it. Um, but tell us about the product. So like the how, because you guys talk about it's 12 minutes a day. What are they doing? So they go, they go through your program, they get an end result, and then they, they will continue to do something 12 minutes a day uh, to move towards their, their desired you know, uh, vision of their life in, in different categories. So what, what, what is that? What are they doing those 12 minutes a day? Well, you want to take that, Kelly? Or nope, go ahead. Well, basically, we sit them down, and, and the hard part is creating the clarity. So the first thing we're doing is we're defining, here's exactly the person you want to be, here's exactly what you want to accomplish, and here's precisely how you're going to achieve your clearly defined goals. Now that's, that clarity is, is arrived at from filling out our questionnaire and a lot of pushing and pulling from Kelly and I. Uh, uh, and, and so once we get that clarity, uh, then that's step one. Then step two is we put that clarity onto our template. And, uh, and then step three is you feed that clarity through our template 12 minutes a day. And it takes approximately 21 days for the uh, 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 mind to, to accept this because before 21 days happens, it rejects it. But that the magic happens at 21 days. And then the, the, this clarity starts showing up in your thoughts and actions automatically without thinking. And that ends up creating the, the vision you're creating for your life. So that's the process. So it's, it's super simple. So basically this um, visualization, you know, again, we've got it, all of the special language in it, that neuro-linguistic programming that's aligned with their personal business goals, the different areas of their life. And they are reading that. So when we say feeding that, it's basically they are reading that every morning, first thing when you wake up, and it takes about 12 minutes a day. 
um, to do that. Um, you know, it's a lot of information and everything, but it takes about 12 minutes a day to read that. Um, so that's it. So the, the eight weeks, that's the challenging part. Once they've, they're done and they actually have the um, end result, all they have to do is read it first thing in the morning. And, um, you know, it begins to override their existing, existing autopilot and get their autopilot working for them rather than against them. So it just, it, it programs those unconscious thoughts, you know, cause that's that 95% are unconscious thoughts. Those are all made up of our, our patterns, our old stories we tell ourselves, our habitual type of behavior that doesn't necessarily serve us. It's those little voices, um, you know, uh, that, that, you, you know, say, oh, you've tried that before. It's not going to work. Um, you know, those things that you, you know, that are going on in the background, this is, it gets that fine-tuned and working for you and, and uses the right language to get your brain working for you rather than against you. So super simple. You're just reading this thing 12 minutes a day. And you know, I, just to reemphasize this, because Kelly and I talk about this all the time, you know, the, the most significant thing we ever learned was that 95% of our daily actions are unconscious. You know, and, and I say that and people hear that and they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just hear that. 95% of your daily actions are unconscious, which means that you're on autopilot most of the day. And again, you're innately wired to survival, which is causes, you know, most of your thoughts, the vast majority of your thoughts to be negative and fear-based and you're reactive. Well, you can just see the problem. If you don't fix that, I mean, you're done. You're, I mean, how are you going to have success if you, if you don't fix that? And, and that's the essence, I think, of, of this. Creating a plan to move past the fear. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And, and, and so now let's say that the program works so well that, oh my God, four months, eight months, I've, I've achieved all my goals that I set up. Do I stop using your program? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> this is something. So this is a quarterly, um, this is something, and it is an ever evolving document, um, especially once you get rolling on this and you're doing it for any period of time, but typically, um, definitely for the first, I would say six months. So the first two quarters, you know, those are pretty, cause you're, you're getting the feel of the, of the program and of the process and how this works. And, um, but once you start picking up momentum, you see it evolving quicker than quarterly because you're hitting your goals um, sooner um, than before each quarter is up. So this is something that again, evolves um, regularly, but for sure it is fine tuned, new goals set, you know, um, you, you're evaluating. And that's something we do in our yearly program with our clients is there's a quarterly tune up that we do, so to speak, where we are recalibrating um, and setting the milestones for um, that next quarter. Yeah, my question was a was a little bit in jest. I already knew the answer, but <laughs> that, because we are dealing with driven people that they're never done, right? They, nope. they, you know, I joke that, you know, driven people, you set a goal and you hit it and you pop the champagne for a day and then tomorrow you're bored. What's the next goal, right? What's the next <laughs> challenge, right? And totally. we just want to keep on growing, you know, driving, achieving to that next level. And uh, so I know that, you know, you, you take that, that visualization uh, that we've created and, uh, and, and just bring it to that next level. What's next? What's next? Mm -hmm. And uh, look at you guys. You guys are in the top of your fields, yet you continue to want more. Um, and, uh, and by wanting more, you're adding more value to the world as well. So it's, it's a great, it's a great cycle. And that's what most people do is when they're, when they are growing, they're also adding more value to the universe. Right. And uh, so everybody, everybody benefits. So. Yeah, right. Well, you know, I'm, I'm curious, David, what, what percentage of people do you think are driven? Um, Geez, that's a great question. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 30%. Are you talking about 30% of people in general or 30% of business owners? I was saying people in general. I, I hope, I hope you're right. <laughs> we, we have not found that to be true. I'm optimistic, right? What do you, right. Yes. what do you think it is? 2%. What's that? 2%. 
Wow. You know, let me, let me say, let me, you, you brought it up and then you, I think you'll find this interesting. Um, you know, so about three or four years ago, I go and I'm thinking, Darren Hardy's the top expert in the world on success. And in my opinion, I'm going to go show this to him. So I go out there and this is, this is probably right before I met Kelly. So I show him, show him this and he sits down and, you know, where it's just him and me and my wife, Ginger. And he goes, you know, this is pretty good. And he looks at it closely and goes, wow, this is, this is really good. But he says, John, uh, people aren't going to spend 12 minutes a day doing this. And I'm like, Darren, how the heck can that be? We're applying the central concept of the top book in the world on success. It caused my income to go up by 25 times what it was the prior 20 years. Um, I'm blessed to teach it at, the, at one of the top universities in the country. And Time Magazine did a, a cover story on the science. What do you mean they're not going to spend 12 friggin' minutes a day? <laughs> and, and he goes, well, John, you'll spend 12 friggin' minutes a day. And I will too. But he says, I'm just telling you, you're new to the success business. Most people are not going to do it. He says, you got to find people that are driven where more success is a necessity, not merely a preference. Find people who hate the average life and, and you got something, but, but it's not for most people. And that was very fortuitous. Uh, and that advice was, we certainly learned that. Well, we can be optimistic about that and say it makes it easier for the rest of us, right? <laughs> yeah, right. right. Exactly. Yeah, less competition. Uh, so, Kelly and John, this has been super fantastic again. Thank you so much for giving us uh, uh, the, the update on your great program, Think It, Be It. People want to learn more, uh, get in touch with you. What's, what's the best way to do that? They can go to uh, thinkitbeit.com. Pretty easy. Yep. Yeah. All the information's there and they can get in touch with you and the whole work. So, and if anybody wants a personal introduction, David at davidmamano.com. I know Kelly and John very well. I consider them friends and I'd be happy to make a personal intro. They're wonderful people, uh, good spirits and do some great things for the world. So uh, Kelly and John, thank you so much for what you're doing. And thanks again for being on the show. I surely appreciate it. Oh, thanks okay. a lot, Dave. Thanks for the work you do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Someday I'll be like you guys. It's in my visualization. So. <laughs> uh, and I also want to thank the Gonzo family for sharing your heartbeats with us today. We have a lot of podcasts out there, folks. I think there's millions and millions of podcasts now all over the world. And I've been doing one every week for five years. And uh, for those of you that listen to mine, I'm truly appreciative. We love you and thank you so much. Uh, make sure that uh, you listen every Wednesday morning, brand new episode, download us, subscribe, like us, all that good stuff, review us, appreciate it. Uh, Kelly and John, thanks again. Thank you, everybody. I want to make sure that everybody has a great day and that they stay awesome. Mm.